Looking back On the memory of The dance we shared Neath the stars above The long and short of it have released a cover of the song The Dance, but they've got a fantastic EP out where they've covered a whole bunch of different music and we'll talk about that and the reason why they've released The Dance and a whole bunch of other things. Hey guys, great to catch up with you again. Absolutely, Darren. Really fantastic. Always a pleasure, mate. (laughs) Now I know there's a new album in the pipeline, so let's talk about that first. When are we looking at getting that released? We've got two tracks down with the vocals yep. um, already, and they uh, have been recorded here at our own studio, which, mm-hmm. which is a, our first little project we've ever done in the studio, so that, that's really good. It's been a good little test for our studio, but it's looking like probably not until early next year yeah. uh, that the album's going to be released. We're recording it throughout the rest of the year, and I think we should have something early to sort of mid next year. Hopefully in time for maybe Tamworth Country Music Festival, but I think our final fracking is going to be completed early December. So we're sort of doing it on yeah. the fly. Yep. But Darren, it's so fantastic when you write a song to finally hear it playing and listening to the vocals and going over it. It's just, of course, you've got to learn it all again, you know, yeah, when, you, when you're doing it. But no, it's been fantastic. Just wonderful. It's going to be great. Honestly, it's going to be, I can't wait. Really can't wait. Mm. I have to say to the listener now that this EP that you've put out, Somewhere in Between, I've got a really eclectic taste. Now, some of these songs, folks, that are on here have been recorded. People like Dr. Hook, Waylon Jennings <laughs> have recorded these songs. Jason Isbell, I'm a big fan. Yep, Zach yep. Brown Band, Garth Brooks, Glenn Campbell, Merle Haggard. If you don't find <laughs> something on there, but the single that we're going to talk about tonight is The Dance. And everyone will know that originally uh, recorded as a hit for Garth Brooks. But tell us about the background for you guys and why you went ahead to release this as a single. Growing up, I've always been a huge Garth Brooks fan, especially a sucker for Garth's ballads, I think. Mm. So that's why uh, that song ended up on the album. But uh, we were sort of inspired to release that single. Through Susie Pop, who who was um, a fantastic supporter of indie artists. And we sent Susie the album and she rang the week, unfortunately, before she passed away. And she rang us to say that she just loved Dave's version, our version of the dance, and that we had to release that particular song first off that little EP. That just inspired us to do that. And then, unfortunately, Susie passed away. And then another very dear friend from South Australia, another DJ who wonderfully supports, you know, indie artists, um, he passed away. And so we decided that in their memory that we would release the dance. And particularly as it was Susie's wishes that we do so. So that's how it kind of came about that that particular single was released first. A lot of listeners tonight will have a close association with Susie from around this area. Susie was uh, well loved and yeah, she was a great supporter of Australian country music. But it's lovely yeah. that you've done this to remember her and, and other people as well. So well done to you guys. Well, thanks oh, very much thank for you, that. Darren. <laughs> it was kind of like a no brainer. She was so enthusiastic. She about was. It, yeah. I, you know, I can still remember very vividly the day yeah. that she called and she was just blown away by our version of that song and yeah. you know it was yeah it made us feel really uh, good really really good about yeah. you know our recording our yeah. version of it so yeah. it was amazing and yeah. folks i have to recommend that you go and have a look at the long and short of it website it's fantastic you can get on there and buy the music they've also got the hat they've got some really good quality merchandise that are available and of course the logo which i think everyone who sees it whether they follow your van around the place and let your tires down in town or whatever. Um, they all know that it's synonymous so it's great to see you have this music and doing some great covers as well what about the other songs on the ep how do you narrow it down to just six we put some old classics that like uh, some of the songs that we still play a lot when we perform a lot of a lot of those cover songs we do but we wanted to put some different stuff on there and i suppose me in particular I've been listening to a lot of Jason Isbell over the last sort of, you know, five or six years, along with Zach Brown as well. I'm a great fan of those two artists. 
this is sort of inspiration we're drawing along the lines of their songwriting for our new album as well. So I was trying to listen to as much of their material as possible to try and get that in my head to inspire me for melodies and lyrics for our new songs as well. And I don't think there's a lot of people doing a lot of Jason Isbell covers or Zach Brown covers out there. So I just thought it was something a little bit different. It is eclectic. Again, you are right about that. Just a few songwriters that we really admire and some beautiful ballads and other songs on that album. Well, I love it. You should get along, have a bit of a listen and then grab yourself a copy of that. Dave and Patsy, always great to catch up with you. We are going to play the single now. It's called The Dance and this is The Long and Short of It. Better left to chance I could 